What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. I'm taking my morning stroll. Every morning I wake up. I walk for a long time. Drink me a little coffee or something. Smoke me a cigarette, get my mind right. Then I get to handling my business for the day. But while I was at the gas station, somebody had asked me about uh, King Von Manager. I guess they seen my blogs and shit. And, uh... I don't know, you know, a lot of people been asking me, man, about that shit for some strange reason. A lot of people feel like Lil Dirk and Sack. I don't come to that conclusion. Now, I'm not knocking nobody who come to that conclusion. Theories are theories. But I don't really think that. And at the same time, you know, not to sound harsh, King Von was a grown man. So to put his death on somebody else is kind of, you know, yeah, that's kind of tough. But at the same token... I do think Dirk could have steered them right. King Von was new to the music industry. He didn't really understand how that shit go. I think Dirk should have steered them right and told them, bro, you can't just be walking up and busting on real rappers and shit. You feel me? You heard Lil Dirk repeat what Baby said in that song with Drake. I'm not a rapper. You play with me, you gonna get scratched. Like on some real shit. You gotta listen to the music. And that's why I say I understand the Lil Dirk shit, right? But if we gonna blame a motherfucker, bro, like I told you, I feel you responsible for your own self. But that nigga track his manager, he could have steered him the right way too. And I said that a lot. If Lil Dirk couldn't be around King Von, then his manager posed to did that shit. He all on these interviews doing a tour, telling motherfuckers they was like brothers. But if that's the truth, bro, you should have held them right. Uh, first off, bro, track King Von manager. You been had issues with Quando Rondo and NBA Youngboy. That's the shit that's kind of weird. You know, we all know about the Melly shit, bro. Uh, that happened some years ago. I think King Act 47 kind of rebroke that story. That uh, NBA had an issue with uh, YNW Kemp, which is being managed by Track King Von Manager. So he been had issues with those niggas. And then you can't forget, Track, track King Von manager, he was working with Kodak Black. He was like his manager, but he was more over the sniper apparel, the clothes, right? I don't know if you remember, but Kodak Black had a beef with Quando Rondo. They was dissing each other, saying they gonna do some shit to each other. You remember dude copied his hairstyle, all kind of shit. Track was part of the sniper count when that shit happened. And then all of a sudden, King Von get into an issue with the nigga and Track gets skinned by a bullet. Track them been in three incidents with NBA Quando Rondo and them, Joe. And I don't think a lot of people noticing that shit. I'm not saying he had shit to do with it. Please don't take that as what you think I'm saying. But I'm saying maybe mistakenly he had something to do with it. You know, when a motherfucker put that battery in King Von back, whether it was meant to put in there or a motherfucker put in there by mistake, a motherfucker put a battery in his back. And I think the manager should have took it out. Should have said, nah. We ain't gonna do that, bro. That's the wrong angle. We got motherfuckers on the front line to do that. You too valuable, King Von, to wanna do some shit like that. So that's why I say those are the things that's kind of fishy to me. Is his manager had prior issues with those niggas. So if you got somebody you wanna blame, I don't really think it's Dirk. I think Dirk is guilty for not, you know, overwatching him. He had to understand this was a street dude locked up in prison, played by street rules, got in the industry where it's false fake and it's not as real as you think it is. And it can confuse you. And I don't think King Von really knew about the industry like that. And you clearly watched him make a deadly mistake. But uh, I'm going to holler at y'all later.